This is a 1974 Hardy Cat L Tiger. It's uh, got a Kawasaki 440 motor in it. It's a free air. This machine we've had for quite a while. It's got a lot of nicks and dings on it, but it's always been a real good running snowmobile. This uh, has got, this machine has 15 inch track. It has a slide rail suspension in it. And the 440 has got the uh, two thirds cleat on it. Cleat goes two thirds away across. Uh, the 440s and 340s had two thirds cleats this year. And the 400s and the 295s had a full cleat. I know I had a 295 and had a full cleat track. I don't know why. Nice mud flap with El Tiger on it. It had the heat gauges. And it's got a speedometer. You know, it says 2,869 miles on it. RPM, gas tank is right in your lap, right there. It used the rubber straps to hold the hood down. It has an ignition switch on it and a choke switch up there. A light switch down there. Uh, high and low, low bright up here. Kill switch right here. I thought they had a tether on them too, but I don't see a tether on this one. Looking under the hood, it has the full, full jack shaft on it. It goes all the way across. The brake is over here. Disc brake. Brakes work good. It's got twin uh, Makuni carburetors. And as far as I know, they never had airbox on them. We never had one with an airbox anyway. And the Kawasaki engine, the 440, of course. It has got uh, two spark plugs per cylinder. I don't know why they had two, but the El Tigers, the Freer El Tigers. I don't know. I don't think the 295 had two. Cylinder, uh, spark looks per cylinder, but this one did. And the data plate here, we can get it to go up. Single exhaust. Had the CDI ignition didn't have points. The belt cover here. Open it up. And there's the clutches on it. Very solid, nice snowmobile. We have got a lot of riding out of them. We got a 76 and a 79 model. This is the first one we had. It's a 1974 Hardy Cat El Tiger, Pierre 440.